hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be talking about well not talking about today i'm going to be showing you guys my sweetie inspired routine so i'm super excited to do this so i'm going to prime my face first so i'm going to use this smashbox primer water so i'm going to spritz my face with it, it smells really good never used it before and I'm gonna put a little bit on my beauty blender and then I'm gonna press it on my face. So we're gonna do that to start with. But yeah, it smells super fresh. So I'm gonna dab all this in to my face, just like this. <laughs> and then, now that I have that all dabbed in, for foundation, I'm going to be using ColourPop. It's been my favorite for a minute. Unless, should I use my NARS? We're going to do, we're going to use my ColourPop. It's all goody. I'm going to use my Tarte foundation brush. So I'm going to take a few directly drops on my face. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to Pat that all in. I've really been liking the ColourPop foundation. Like the finish is so nice and then the coverage is really good too. And I know it's supposed to be like a matte one and my skin is on the drier side, but since I've been using like hydrating primer and then like more hydrating products, it doesn't make my skin feel tight or dry. So that's been good. But yeah, and look, like, I didn't even put that much, but the coverage already is so good. I'm going to take a little bit more, whatever's, like, left over on my pump, and I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. And then if there's any spots that I see, like, on my face, I'll just take, like, not even like a full pump, like a little dot like that and then just go over just to make sure I got everywhere so I'm doing that like so do not forget under here because there's definitely been times where I forgot to do under like by my neck and like under my chin <laughs> so make sure you don't forget to do that area so now that I have that all in, I like to use the beauty blender and pat it all in to make sure it's a nice finish on the skin so it looks more natural. So I just pat all that in there. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer. This is also from ColourPop. This is in the shade Dark 44. The foundation is in the shade Dark 175. So I'm going to take the concealer and I'm going to not put too much, but I'm going to put it a little bit closer to where my nose is. Put it just like that. Like I love how creamy this is. I'm going to put a little bit right here. And then I'm going to put a few dots where my smile lines typically are. And then a little bit right here on my forehead. Okay. I know I look crazy, is what it is. I'm also gonna take my sculpting stick from ColourPop. I know it's a lot of ColourPop. And this is in Typo. And again, these are so creamy. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna take a little bit right there. And then same thing on this side. And then lines on my forehead. And then I put like two little dashes under my chin. And then, I mean, I don't really need to contour my nose, but if you wanted to, you could take little dot stripes right there. So, I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to start around my mouth. I like to leave the under eye on a little bit longer. So, I'm going to just do under here for now. And then I'm gonna do my forehead. And then I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild brush. I don't even know what the number is, but I've had this for the longest time. 
and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna first pat. And then I'll blend like this. So I'll stipple and blend. I don't want like a harsh line, but I do want like the the bronzeness. Cause sweetie is like a bronze queen. No, her makeup always looks so bronzy and nice. I want to make sure I have a nice bronze look. Do this side now. Make sure it's all bronzed in there. And then I like to trail it around my hairline if there's any excess, as well as I know I put some under by my jaw. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm blending that out. And then I'm gonna do put my forehead. Make sure I'm getting there done as well. Then I'll go back in with my beauty blender. And then I'm going to do my under eyes. So I'm going to pat that in. I like to keep it close to my nose, not to go too like far out. So I have to keep right here. And then just pat it in. And then any access, I'll put on my actual eyelid like so. And again, under this eye. And I'm going over my contour on my nose. Make sure I'm getting that all blended. Sorry, I have a mirror over here. So if you see me look this way, it's because I have a mirror right here. But I'm just making sure I don't look crazy and you guys aren't telling me. So, so far I like this. I'm going to take a little bit more concealer though and go under my eye. Not too much, but like, just like that. I'm going to take a little bit more. And then I'm going to peek over a little bit on my lid. So I make sure that, that is all blended good. This I'm going to use my tart, and then I'm just going to blend it all over my lid. Because whatever Sweeties has her eyeshadow, it's super pigmented and super pretty. And that is what I'm going for, is super pretty. So I'm going to use this Best Year Ever palette. And I'm going to start with Santa Secret. And I'm going to use this AOA E123 brush. Let me take actually a little bit of this primer water because I want this to like show oh, I want it to be pigmented I want it to be pretty I want y'all to see it from outer space so I just want it to be too wet so I make sure it's on there though I'm gonna pat and then I'm gonna distribute on my lid there we go can you guys see it can y'all see it? Do y'all believe it? I'm just gonna pack it on because I want y'all to see it. It's very light. I'm gonna pack it all over my lid. Spray a little 
little bit more of my primer water because I want it to literally pop on my lid. I think you guys can see it, right? Because I can, I can see it. So I'm gonna do this lid as well. pick up like from the pan and then it over spills into the other when you pick it up that was just me but it's fine it survived so yeah i'm doing that it's just my base so you can kind of see it so next i'm gonna go in with wrap it up which is like a nice like purple color so i'm gonna use the back of the brush and i'm gonna take that on my same brush, take a little bit more of the primer, and then I'm going to pat that on top, take a little bit more of it, See how it's like really starting to pop though? Like y'all starting to see it? I love me a purple, guys. I love me a purple. It's such a pretty color. Like, so pretty. So now that I got that purple, I'm gonna take a little bit of this IT Kini from Teeny Beauty. And I'm going to take this E112 from AOA brush and I'm going to pat it in there and then I'm going to put it on the center of my lid and put a little bit more primer water. It's so like I said, I want it to pop. I want to see it. There we go. Look how pretty that is. It's not as like pigmented as I want it to be, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more of the concealer and I'm gonna right there. Take my brush and sweep it on. And then I'm gonna take the color and go over it with it. I think it's a little bit more pigmented now, if you guys can tell. Yeah. Really pretty. Then I'm gonna take this highlighter. It's a dewy cream highlight. And it's from AOA and it's in the shade Soak. This I'm going to use my finger with. So I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and then just pat it on. I'm going to take that brush I was using before just to get it all blended nicely. Like that. Look at that color though. It's 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 literally so pretty. So go over it here as well.
blend that all together. But yeah, this color is so pretty. Oh my god, I can't move over it. Alright, now I'm gonna go under, I mean, go back over my concealer, mini mouth that I had, and just pat that in like so. <laughs> Okay, and then now that I have that all patted in, I'm going to take my setting powder, use that same portion I was using, and I'm going to pat under my eye. I'm not really like letting it sit because I end up doing too much when I do that, so I'm just going to pat it in. Adding this all underneath. And then I'm going to take whatever access and then just kind of do that for my smile lines because they become into play for no reason. <laughs> no one invites them, but they come anyway. So I'm going to take that, pat that all in. And then I'm going to take my bronzer from Color. Uh, well it's a pressed powder but i use it as a bronzer it is so beautiful you can see it love this and i'm gonna take the same one that i used to contour with which is a wet and wild and i'm gonna take don't take too much because it's very pigmented like and then i just literally glide it over like this it's so pretty take like two little pounces on it and then i just swoop it over but it's so pretty Love this. And then don't forget the forehead. Cannot forget the forehead, guys. Sweeping it literally through. again the highlight and I'm gonna just pat it right under my eye right here take some on my nose right here because she's cute and whatever a little bit right here Cupid's bow Sorry, not Cupid's bow, eyebrow bump. <laughs> but we can do Cupid's bow. Not for, forget mascara. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Oh, she's awake now guys look at that i'm telling you like having mascara on literally just changes the whole game literally changes the whole game if you ever end up putting like too much highlight take your foundation brush and then just pat over it and then it will be a little bit less like of the highlight it'll still be there but it'll kind of like neuter a little bit see how i did that so love doing that so next i'm gonna set my face with the same primer water god this smells good Ooh. it's like so and then sweetie loves her pink so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this nyx lingering teddy i'm gonna line my lips with it first so right now that okay then i'm gonna take my em cosmetics this is in rose nude i go over in the middle and then just go over whatever 
sparse areas I have. Oh my god, look how pretty that is though. Like, I'm obsessed. So pretty. And then I'll take a little bit of my Tartiste paint. Just to add a little bit extraness. And then she's good to go, guys. <laughs> she is good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and tune in next time. Thank you.